Hello, my name is Erin Weimert. Thanks so much for checking out my channel. Today's class is called Big Energy. I've recently been making some really big changes in my life since the beginning of the year. Um, they've been sticking and I've been seeing the benefits of those big changes. I feel like big energy is coming in and pushing me in the right direction. And I'm hoping that today we can create some big energy for you so that you can feel like just strong and in charge of your life and like you're headed in the right direction. As always, my classes are donation-based, pay what you can if you want, if you can, if you'd like to contribute, my information is in the movie notes. All right, we're gonna start in a pose called Virasana, just simply hips to heels. Now, if your ankles are tight or if your knees are bothering you, you can have a block between your ankles I like to go on actually a level two. I feel like that's high enough for me. And you can just sit back. As you lean back, draw the ears over the shoulders, over the hips, and allow the chin to bow in slightly. You can find a soft gaze in front of you or allow the eyes to close. And just right off the bat, take a slow breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, open your mouth, say, through the nose, breathe in, and then through the nose, breathe out. So let's continue like this, breathing in and out of the nose. You might even tone your throat slightly, finding that gentle ujjayi breath to help settle you and ground you into this moment. Now over the next few rounds of breath, I invite you on your exhale to release tension from the body. So that might mean the face, the shoulders, the belly. And see if also on that exhale, you can consciously empty your mind and let go of anything that might be weighing you down, any sort of story that's been in a loop. Just let it all go. This is your sacred space to be still. And just take another three full breaths. Feel the heart expand as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, feel your body settle down. And gently open the eyes. Remove your block from behind you if it's there. And as you come onto the palm, step one foot into plank and just flex and point the toes. Get your ankle back on line. And then we'll switch sides. Let's come back to all fours. Take a breath in and as you exhale, just press the earth away. Draw the chin in, draw the heart in, draw the navel and the pubic bone in. And then release the belly, inhale, cow pose. And exhale, press and round. Twice more. And exhale. Once more. Inhale, the cow pose, tuck the toes. And exhale, lift your knees. Downward facing dog. And if you need to find a slow pedal out through the legs just to release the ankles a bit more, please do that. And as you're ready, find your gaze between the heels. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, soften the muscles around your eyes. Let's go ahead and stretch the right leg up towards the sky. Bend your knee and open it up skyward. Feel the left hip crease draw back. And then keep your right hip open. Extend your right leg out to the right. See if you can draw the toes forward a little bit. And then come back to your twist. Bend the knee, open the hip. And as you exhale, extend the right leg to the right. And see if you can move it forward even more. Once more like that. Inhale. And exhale. Let's come to your three-legged down dog. Reach the right leg up and exhale. Step between the thumbs, drop the left knee down. Bring your arms to the sky, reach all the way up 
And as you exhale, bring your right thumb into your right hip crease and side bend. You could reach your right fingertips to a block of the earth. Take a breath in and out. Inhale, both arms reach tall. And as you exhale, pyramid pose, straighten the legs. Take a big inhale to lengthen the chest forward. And as you exhale, fold deep over the thigh. Inhale to your lunge, lift the heart, let it be light. As you exhale, step forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, find a long spine, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms all the way to the sky. And as you exhale, interlace your hands behind the back, bend your knees and stretch the chest forward. Curl the shoulders back, lift the heart, inhale. As you exhale, straighten the legs, let the head go and fold. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, release your hands to the low back and down to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, and step your feet back into plank, one foot at a time. From your plank, float the left leg up, three-legged plank, inhale. Knee to nose, exhale, tuck and round. Three-legged plank, inhale, heart forward. Exhale, knee to nose. Once more like that, inhale and exhale. Let's find a three-legged dog, reach the left leg high and step through, drop the right knee down. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky, Anjaneyasana. And exhale, left thumb to hip crease or hand to a block of the earth, side bent. Take a big breath in and exhale out. Inhale, both arms reach. Let's go pyramid pose. Exhale, straighten the legs. Imagine someone's pulling your hips up and back and your heart is stretching forward in opposition. Inhale to your lunge as you exhale, step to plank. From plank, shift forward. Let's lower all the way down to the ground. Release your arms by your sides, untuck the toes, and inhale up, Shalabhasana. Lift, exhale, release. Press through plank or tabletop to downward facing dog. From your down dog, take a big breath in and exhale out. Inhale, left leg lifts. Let's bend the knee, open it skyward. Feel the right heel drop. And as you inhale, extend your left leg away. Keep the hip open, see if you can reach the toes forward. Exhale, back to your down dog, twist, bend the knee. Inhale, extend left leg, bring it out to the left, press through the left hand, and exhale, bend the knee. Once more like that. Find your down dog, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step through, right knee down. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. Side bend to the left, exhale. Inhale, reach up tall, lift the heart. Straighten the legs, pyramid pose, exhale. Find a breath in and out. Inhale to your lunge. Step forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. And exhale, fold forward. Stretch arms to the sky, inhale. Exhale, hands interlace behind the back. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, bend the knees, sit low. Inhale, lift the heart up. And fold to chest expansion, straight legs. Release the hands halfway, inhale. Exhale, step to plank, one foot at a time. From plank, right leg lifts, three-legged plank. Knee to nose, exhale. Three-legged plank, inhale. And exhale. Once more, breath in. And exhale, let's find three-legged dog, reach the leg high. Step through to your lunge, back knee down. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, side bend to the right. Reach up, inhale. Pyramid pose, exhale.
inhale, find a breath in and a breath out. Inhale to your lunge and step to plank. Shift forward, lower down to your belly. Untuck the toes, inhale, Shalabhasana, lift. And exhale, release, down dog. Make your way there. Find your gaze between the heels, big breath in. And exhale out. Inhale, your right leg lifts high. Step between the thumbs and lunge. Hop your left foot slightly to the left and spin the heel down, warrior one. Reach the arms up. As you lunge, work the right waistline back and feel the left hip spin forward. Bring the hands to interlace behind the head and hug the elbows in. And as you inhale, lean back into the hands. As you exhale, lunge and pull the low belly in. Let's take another breath, lean back. Exhale, airplane your arms. Can you bring your belly to your thighs and get your chest parallel to the earth? Curl the shoulders back. Lift the collarbones high. Let's pivot to the left, five-pointed star. Reach all the way up. And then lateral lunge towards the left. Sink deep. Draw the hips back. Keep the chest open. Stretch your arms out to a T. And see if you can seal down the outer edge of the right foot. Take another inhale. As you exhale, turn to the left. And step forward. You're at the back of the mat. Halfway inhale and exhale to fold. Inhale all the way up. And as you exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Lift your left knee up into your chest. Stamp down through the right foot. Kick your left heel back. Keep hugging the heel and tight to the hip. Release your arms by your sides. So imagine like your Kate in the Titanic. Your heart's open, your arms are open. You got this big energy. Don't know what's coming. <laughs> you hope it's good. You're saying yes to it all. And then release both feet down, arms high. Inhale, fold forward, exhale. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step your left toes back. Good. Go ahead, spin the heel down, warrior two. Right toes forward. Relax the space under and around the ears. Got this big energy radiating from the heart out through the chest into the arms, out of the fingertips. Flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. And feel that you're not collapsing into the left side body, but you're working to lengthen left side. Take a breath in as you exhale, extended side angle, right form to thigh or maybe to the earth. Sometimes I like to grab my ankle. Let's come up five point and start, reach all the way up. And exhale, come low into horse. I'm gonna turn to face you. Now, as you draw the hips down, inhale, reach the fingertips forward. Exhale, open the arms wide like you're gonna give someone a hug. Inhale, arms stretch up. Hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, fingertips reach forward. It's like a Donnie Darko vortex. Exhale, open wide. Inhale, reach up. Hands to heart, exhale a little deeper. Let's do one more time, inhale. Exhale, reach tall, and exhale. Inhale all the way up. Let's fold to the ground, find your halfway lift. Take a turn to your left toes, top of the mat, and step to plank. From your plank, shift forward, lower all the way down. Untuck the toes, inhale, rise, Shalabhasana. And exhale, hands to chest. Down dog, however you want to get there. Let's fill the lungs fully and let it go. 
stretch your left leg up and step through. Spin the right heel flat for warrior one. All right, so back toes turn up to maybe two o'clock and try to seal down the outer edge of your back foot. Turn the ribs forward, bring the hands behind the head. Hug the elbows in. Keep lunging and thinking about the arch taking place through the upper spine. Imagine like there's a string attached to your heart. It's being lifted up to the sky. Take an inhale. Exhale, airplane torso, belly to thighs, reach back. Spread the fingers wide, find your gaze down the nose. And then five-pointed star, reach all the way up. Lateral lunge to the right. Take a deep lunge. Think hips, heavy heart light. Stretch the arms out to a T. See if you can draw your heart closer to the ground without dropping the chest. Full breath in as you exhale, turn to the back of your mat and step forward. Halfway lift, breath in. Exhale, folds. Inhale all the way up. Hands to heart. Draw the right knee up. Kick your right leg back. Feel the strength of your right glute firing. As you come into this hip extension, bring the arms back, pull the low belly in. So your ribs aren't exploding forward, you're gathering them in. See if you can take a big breath in, reach back. Exhale, release both feet down, arms high. Inhale, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, right toes back, right heel down, warrior two. Starting to heat up here. All right, feeling alive. Got that big energy coming out of your fingertips. Making things happen. Flip the front palm, reverse. See if you can bring the arm by the ear. Straighten it out if you can. And as much as you're reaching your fingertips up, bring your left shoulder blade down in opposition. So you're going up and down at the same time. You're lunging forward and reaching back at the same time. It's all about opposing energies. Extended side angle. Feel both feet on the ground. Five-pointed star, pivot your left toes, reach up. Let's come low into horse. Slide your hands down to your thighs, and you might have to bring your feet a little closer, that's all right. Now drop your hips, and as you pull on your ankles, feel the elbows draw back into the calves. Drop the hips, lift the heart. Think cow pose, three breaths. Oh yeah, that's some big energy right there. It's big something. Take another inhale, exhale, straighten the feet out and fold. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, turn forward, plank, lower to your forearms. From your forearms, walk your feet and come into dolphin. And you can always interlace your fingers if that works better. As you press your forearms and elbows down and forward, imagine someone's pulling your hips up in opposition. Walk it back to form plank. Plant the palms, plank. Woo! Downward facing dog. Let's take a full breath in. And exhale out. We're gonna put this together. Right leg inhales high. Exhale, light step through. Left heel down first. Then inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hands interlace behind the back. Hug the elbows and take an inhale, lean back. Exhale, airplane torso, heart is light. Inhale, warrior two. Extended side angle as you exhale. Reverse, warrior reach. 
Let's do one more side angle. Five-pointed star, inhale. Lateral lunge to the left, exhale. Inhale, open the arms out. Turn to the back of the mat, exhale. Step forward, inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Bend through your left knee. See if you can reach both feet back and capture the foot. It's like a standing quad stretch. Standing knee up soft. Feel the front and the back of the heart lifting. Take another inhale. Gentle release as you exhale, left foot down. Stretch the arms up, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway, inhale. Left foot back, heel down. Warrior one, inhale. Hands behind the head, exhale. Hug the elbows and inhale, lean back. Exhale, airplane torso. Warrior two is your inhale. Extended side is your X. Reverse warrior, inhale. One more time, side angle. Five pointed start, inhale. Lateral lunge to the left, exhale. Arms out wide, inhale. Turn to the front, exhale, plank. Shift forward, come down to your belly. Untuck, inhale up. Exhale, release your way to down dog. Take a big breath in. And exhale out. All right, left leg inhales. Exhale, step right heel down. Inhale, arms up. Hands behind the head. Hug the elbows in, lunge and inhale back. Exhale, airplane torso. Warrior two, inhale. Extended side, X. Keep lunging, inhale, reverse. One more time, extended reach. Five pointed, inhale. Lateral lunge to the right, X. Inhale, arms out wide. Turn to the back of the mat, lunge. Step forward, inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Bend your right knee and see if you can reach both hands back and capture the foot. Whew, so it's a little tighter. All righty. Now steady your gaze. Come back to your steady ujjayi breath. Big energy radiating from the eyes. Take another inhale. Gently release your foot as you exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, folds. Halfway, inhale. Exhale, right foot back, heel down. Warrior one, inhale. Hands interlace behind the head, X. Keep lunging, inhale, hug the elbows and arch back. Exhale, airplane torso. Warrior two, inhale. Extended side. Reverse, inhale. One more time, extend, work those sides. Five-pointed, inhale. Lateral lunge to the right, X. Inhale, arms out. Exhale, turn forward to lunge and step. Halfway, inhale. Exhale, fold. All right, inhale all the way up. Draw the left elbow in. Bend the left knee and capture the foot from the inner arch. Spin the knee down, hug the shin in. Find your gaze. When you're ready, kick and explore. Keep working the right thigh back. Slowly inhale up. 
gentle release as you exhale. Hands to heart, close the eyes. Let's feel the effects in your body, your muscles. Feel the suppleness of your joints. Feel your bones stacking. We'll go to side two, bend your right knee, hug the right elbow in, capture the foot, knee down, ankle and shin in. Reach the left arm up, and as you're ready, kick and expand. Instead of just kicking back, see if you can also lift your right toes up while spinning the right knee down. If that feels annoying to spin the right knee down, you're doing it right. Slowly inhale up, gentle release, exhale. Woo, feel free to sway the arms. Got the heart rate up, got the temperature up, feeling big. All right, let's inhale both arms up, exhale, fold. Bring the feet together, lift the heels and bend your knees. See if you can sit your hips to your heels. Lift the chest up. See if you can bring the arms forward or up. Stretch. Find your gaze. And then stretch the arms forward. Open the knees wide. See if you can place yourself into Navasana, boat pose. And there we are. You can have hands down or hands behind the thighs if you need. As you inhale, lower a little or a lot. Exhale, lift. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do three more. Two. Last one. See if you can grab onto your big toes. Go slow. Lift the chest. Maybe you extend your legs. Try to keep your shoulder blades on the back. Feel the outer edges of your feet pull back. Lift the chest. You can play around with opening the legs. Woo. And then bend your knees. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> All right, keep your left foot hugging in. Extend the right leg out. Some of you might need a strap for this if you just realized grabbing your foot was hard. So either strap up your right foot or grab the outer edges of the foot with your hands. Lift the chest and extend the leg. And you'll notice how easy it is to want to roll back. See if you can lift the back of your pelvis up. And some of you may reach your left hand for outer edge of right foot or calf and turning from your internal obliques from the low ribs, open the right arm back. Notice how your right leg wants to go over to the left. Use your outer hip, turn it on, bring your leg back in line with the hip. Take another inhale, lengthen your leg, your arms, your spine. Exhale, bend your right knee. Straighten your bottom shin out and come into fire log, right shin on top. Or if this is too much for you, just drop your right shin off in front. But here in fire log, we wanna make sure that it's not like this. We don't have a sickled ankle that's rolling. We wanna stack the joints so that we can keep the foot flexed. Foot flexed means your ankle, uh, which are the lower uh, portions of your leg bone connected to your knee, everything safe there. All right, feel free to stay up or fold. A couple slow, full deep breaths. And just like we did at the beginning, let your exhales help settle you in. Come on up, 
stay where you are or drop that right shin off in front. Bend through your right elbow and bring your right wrist into the right hip. So it kind of looks like a funky chicken wing. All right, now with your left hand, just carefully grab onto the right elbow. If it feels okay to pull it in a bit, you can. Lengthen the chest and then drop your left ear. And it's easy to want to round into the left side body, so try to keep your left side body long. Slow, full, easy breaths. Gently inhale, lift the head up. Exhale, release your right arm and just circle it once or twice in each direction. All right. Go ahead, extend your left leg out. Draw the right foot into Janu Shirshasana. And either lasso your left foot with a strap or grab onto it. You might round to get it first. And then once you extend, bring that length to the spine as well. And if you're able to grab for the outer edge of the left foot, open left arm back. And you can absolutely sit on a blanket or a pillow for this, for sure. Try to keep your left leg from crossing the midline over to the right. Inhale, lengthen everything. Exhale, bend the left knee. Straighten your bottom shin out. And find fire log. Or drop your left shin in front for Sukhasana. breaths. And gently inhale up. And as you exhale, settle into your seat. If you need to drop your left shin in front, you can. Bend your left elbow. Bring the left wrist into your hip. And then grab onto the elbow with the right hand. Just take a breath in. As you exhale, perhaps a gentle it's not like you're not yanking it. It's just a little, a little weight to create some sensation. You might drop the right ear. As you exhale, gently release the left arm. Take it once or twice in each direction. And release your top leg. Lean back, just shake things out. Roll out the ankles, point and flex. And as you're ready, just scoot your hips down. Come onto your back. And just let yourself take up some space. This feels big energy radiating from your body. Big energy that allows you to take on your day, to feel strong, confident, to move towards change and challenge, to stand up tall with confidence, to feel hopeful, excited. Consider just one little change you might make in your day or your evening. Just one little change that's like a 1% improvement. Just something small. Let that cross your mind. Something you 
could do to make your day 1% better. Let's take another inhale and exhale. Let go. Please stay here as long as you want or need. I hope you will join me for another class soon. Thank you so much for being here. Namaste.